karaoke. Yeah. Turn down the echo. That'll that be fine. Yes? We have it on now. Perfect! Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? Magic Asian Man, I know that sounds like a weird racist thing, uh, I assure you, that is actually my website, magicasianman.com. And if it's on the internet, it has to be true, I know that, because I read it on the internet. So there's no logical fallacy there. I'm going to start off with the very first magic trick I ever saw, so Madhu in my entire life, the magician walked out on stage, he was dressed as the nines, and he had a pocket handkerchief. Do me a favor, can you check out the pocket handkerchief, make sure there's nothing funny about it, there's nothing in my hands, right? He took it. He ran it through his hands, gave it a little bundle, and he made a bird appear. Yeah, I can't do that. I it was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Just kidding. I couldn't do it the next day, but now. I can do it. Nami's my good buddy, and I'm gonna put her right over here. Another round of applause for my life buddy, yeah! Oh yeah, no, she, she knows step forward. Go. That's right, that'll be fine, right there. No, Nami will stay right there. You saw how she came back to me, so she's gonna stay. She's in her cage. She's got, she's got satellite TV. She's got Wi-Fi. She's got everything. She's sat in there. Uh, excellent. Okay. We're doing our plan. We're doing fine. Excellent. So now, uh, at this point, you guys have probably noticed there's a slight discrepancy between the way that I look and the way that I sound. So I'd like to address it now. The answer to the burning question remains is yes, I really am. Vietnamese. Good. Moving along with the rest of the program. Yay! Yay! You guys want to sure thank Vietnamese accents? This is what we sound like. At least this is what we sounded like where I grew up in the uh, northwestern part of Vietnam called Glasgow, which is where I grew up. Okay, apparently there's one geography major in the audience. Everyone else, Glasgow is in Scotland, not Vietnam, hence the unique blend of Ching Chongi that you see before you now. But since this system got mad at me that I said Ching Chongi, I'm allowed to say it. It's when white people come up to me and say that there's a problem. Uh, yes, I grew up in Glasgow, Scotland, and there's a little box that might be for later. But Glasgow, Scotland's where I grew up, Redhead, red-headed giant so masculine that men don't mind wearing skirts out in public. That's Scotland, right? They call them kilts, but we all know they're skirts, right? You guys know they're skirts. They're skirts. They call them kilts, totally. Uh, so that's where I grew up, from 1 to 11. Yeah, that's how you grew up in Asian kids' childhood, right there. <laughs> right there. That's how they go into something like magic. We're gonna do, let's see, what kind of a trick are we gonna do for you guys? Let's, oh, let's get it out of the way. Let's get it out of the way. Now we're gonna do a card trick. It has to happen at least once. Gonna do the card trick, make sure my hands are nice and warmed up. Take the cards, you can spring them from one hand to the other. Wow. Yeah, take the car, start the back. Hook up. Wow. Not all that time. I'm just kidding, I did this, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that vote of confidence, man. If my parents believed in me as much as you guys did, I'd be a happy camper. <laughs> just kidding, my parents are very, very proud of me. I'm just disappointed in myself because they wanted me to be a magician and I wanted to be a doctor. So you can see how there is a problem. For everyone who didn't have Asian parents growing up, it's the other way around. No Asian parent wants you to grow up and be a magician. Asian parents come up to you when you're a kid and say, You have to wait a doctor for the pharmacy, or you put a pencil nail on the nail for the father. Yeah. 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 Vietnamese guy, he was like, Woo! Woo! And now he's in television. He's more messed up than all of us. There we go. Card trick. Make sure that my hands are. Let's see. Give him a little. So you can cut cards using one hand. Yeah, you can cut cards using two hands in 20 years of social life. Yeah. I have a tracker ankle too. Anytime I'm within 10 miles of Las Vegas, the entire town just shuts down. They won't let me anywhere near that place. Uh, who would like to help me out for this trip? I need a volunteer. You can stay exactly in your seat. You don't have to get up at all. And let's see, I'm going to make sure I have my, this is my little emergency thing. And see, in the case of this right here, emergency use only. Uh, in addition to being a magician, I'm also an Eagle Scout, and the Boy Scouting program we have to be prepared. Lots of people don't believe me when I say that. The scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and rebel. Twelve points in Scout Mom. Still remember? Still view them every single day. Nobody cares. You know that every astronaut except on the moon was an Eagle Scout, right? So I'm just saying, if they needed to send a magician to the moon, I'd be first on that list. So that's the way that that works, I think, according to the way I made it. Hi, would you like to help me out? Yes, you can stay sat right there. Okay, excellent. I've got a packet of cards here. I'm going to dribble through them. You go ahead and call out and stop any time you'd like. While I'm dribbling through the cards, call out. I wasn't sure if I was too clear about that. It's the accent. It's the accent. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to dribble through the cards. Here. There you go. I tore it. I tore it to the 
this out, and every single time I stepped on the stage, every, I saw everyone in the audience cross their arms and say, that don't sound right. That ain't right. All right, here we go. Juggle the cards you call it. Stop. Somewhere between here and here. Just, oh, that's fine. Don't worry. It is really not your fault. Ready? Set? I haven't caught yet! <laughs> But I appreciate your enthusiasm. I'll tell you what, since you're sitting so close, I'll just let you reach on in and grab a card. Reach on in and grab it. Just, just grab it. Just not. That one right there. Excellent. Take the card. And here's what we're going to have you do. I'm going to have you show everyone, and I'm going to have you sign it with a marker. So I'm going to turn my head out to the side. And here's what you can do. If it's a normal card like this, sign it big and bold across the face. If it is a royalty card, sign it in the... You, you can either sign it here or here, but somewhere in the blank space. All right? And then hold it up nice and high so everyone can see. And now you guys sitting on the side, you can see there's nothing in my ears, right? Some people think that there's some guy in the back who's feeding me information, someone's texting me on my cell phone, or there's a little thing in my pocket that buzzes the right number of times so I know what card she's picked. People think insane things. So have you signed the card? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Good. You've shown it to everyone now? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. So what I want you to do is go ahead and take the card and watch it place. Where, where are you? I'm going to... You have Put the card back. Excellent. And did you cap up the marker? You did. Thank you very much. All right. And what was your name? Ellen. Ellen. Everyone, a round of applause for Ellen for helping you. Excellent. And now I need to know, is there somebody here who knows how to shuffle a packet of plenty cards better than me? I have arms just dropped all of them, hopefully this trick still works. Anybody here know how to shuffle a packet of plenty cards? No? We got a lid right over here. Oh, 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 we have two. Tell you what, after you're done, hand it on over to us. Yeah. Everyone gets a chance. Excellent. So now, while the cards are shuffling, we're going to do a slightly different trick. Did she just drop all the cards? Who wants to see a coin trick? That's all I got left. I'll do the bird thing again. Let me just turn. It's right. We have. I have. This is this is my backup trick. Like I said, we're always prepared. I got a little bullet thing here. This is my backup trick here. So everyone, back up. Now right, here's. Uh, what's your name, Holton? Ellen. Ellen. Uh, I did come up to you before the show. I didn't ask you to do anything in particular, right? Uh, so is there any way you could know what word I have written inside this envelope? Exactly! No, ladies and gentlemen! Got it! You have to carry something that works every time. Because sometimes you can drop cards. Oh, well, we can go, okay, oh, we found them all. Hopefully we found this is the one that was also your card. Uh, excellent! I have another trick that works every single time. I know that when a slightly politically charged time, I'm not here to make any political jokes. All I need you to do is name any U.S. president that you'd like. Uh oh. That's hard. No, any, any, you tell you, to make it easier, one that served terms, alright? How does that term that actually serve? Any fault president. Uh, Reagan! Reagan! Well, Nancy. Here it is. If I had a picture of Ronald Reagan printed on the back side of this, would that be an amazing trick? Be an amazing trick, right? Nobody ever named Reagan. Washington or Lincoln, nobody ever named Reagan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is President Ronald Reagan at six months old. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Works every time! <laughs> Allow me to clarify, used to work every time. And then about eight years ago, uh, we had a president that didn't fit the usual criteria uh, for this, so it stopped working, which is why I had this picture printed up in case someone named a more recent president. <laughs> Because this is Obama. That's the case of Obama, right? Alright, excellent. This is, there you go. Okay, no, we started with a card trick, right? Alright. I don't even know if that card is in that deck anymore. Just in case, what if I told you your card was actually printed, big and bold, behind Baby Obama? <laughs> be pretty good, right? Printed behind Baby Obama? Your card! Look at that! It's, got, it's one of those. It has to be one of those. It has to be, because that's all of them. Just in case, for the, those of you guys in the back who can't see very well, boom! Is this your card right here? The Whoa. King of Spades? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. You still haven't actually found your actual physical card yet. So uh, you have those cards shuffled, yes? All right, good. Here, we're going to take those. Thank you. We're going to hand them over to me. We're going to try to actually find your card from a freshly shuffled deck, okay? One card is going to move away to the deck. Perfect. Snap of the fingers. One card's going to jump out through the air. It's going to do 16 revolutions. I'm going to catch it with my fingertips in my left hand, all right? Actually, the wind, yeah, the wind is getting here. Here we go. Huh. One card oh that I catch with my finger. Not only have I caught your card, it's magically changed into the six of spades. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna see. What we're, we'll, we'll try and change it. We blow on the six of spades, and it changes into the jack of hearts. No, nope, still not your card. No, nope, no, it was supposed to be her card. I'm not. Sure. <laughs> Can you get them here? Can you get them? <laughs> Seriously, I'm not joking. 
over your table. <laughs> it's not here. The card is not. The card is not here. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, oh, you guys remember? There's a folded playing card inside this box over here. It's been sitting out here the entire time. I've not gone anywhere near it. Right? Take that folded playing card. Open it up. Hold it up nice and high so everyone can see. Is that your sign, King of Spades? Yes, it is. I thought it balled and set one up. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, baby Rick. <laughs> See, look at that. That's, that was the start of the trickle down economics, is the sort of with trickle down spittle, and then it's from transition to Nobody laughs at that. Ah, here we go. I'm going to go. I need. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So while I was growing up in Glasgow, all right? By the time I was 18, I learned that I had a very, very unique skill set. All right, I found that I was adept at vocal mimicry. I could sound like my mates, I could sound like my uh, headmaster, I could even sound like the people that I saw on television. And I brought with me a list of people that I could do impressions of. This list spans across uh, roughly, I'm going to say, 100 voices, right, spanning 